Welcome to Physics Learning. This is the first lecture on central force. In this video, I am going to talk about the definition of central force. I will show you some examples of central force. I will discuss some of the properties of central force. Very first question is what is central force? Central force is a special kind of force which is always directed from or towards a fixed center and its magnitude is a function of distance from that fixed point. For example, suppose we choose a 3D Cartesian coordinate system XYZ and we take a point which is at a distance R from the origin and if you connect the origin and that point by a vector R then the central force which is a vector quantity F is denoted by R cap times function of R. Here R cap is unit vector along R vector and the capital F which is a function of R is nothing but the magnitude of the force and you can see here this is just a function of distance. And if this magnitude is less than zero then this kind of force will be attractive force. Okay. And if that uh, magnitude is greater than zero then this force will be of repulsive kind. Okay, it will be much more clearer if we see the example. The very first example is gravitational force. We know Earth attracted toward the sun uh, by a gravitational force. And we also know that this gravitational force is always directed towards the sun. Okay, and if you just uh, match it with the definition of central force, there was force is always directed towards a fixed point here the gravitational force on earth is always directed towards the sun and the magnitude of force we uh, already know from the Newton's gravitational law that inversely proportional to square of distance between them. This is the second part of definition from central force that magnitude is only depend on distance right. The second example is electrostatic force suppose we have two positive charge then this Q2 charge will feel a repulsive force and that repulsive force is nothing but electrostatic force and here if you look at that arrow diagram then we can easily see that that force is away from Q1 that is again the definition of central force that central force will be always directed towards or away from a point. So the first example was gravitational force where the force is directed towards a point and here force is directed away from a point. Again another example it is also electrostatic force that if we have a positive and negative charge then this minus Q2 charge feel a uh, electrostatic attraction towards the point where the charge Q1 is situated. Okay. An electrostatic force is also inversely proportional to square of distance between the charges and that is what the exactly the definition of magnitude of central force that central force magnitude is a function of distance between the points right. If we start talking about the properties of central force the first one is angular momentum is conserved under central force. Second one is central force is a conservative force. Third one is total energy is conserved under central force. This total energy is conserved under central force is the consequences of central force is a conservative force. Fourth one is orbit of a particle always lies in a plane. This property is again the consequences of angular momentum is conserved under central force. If you try to understand this fourth point, upper three are the very clear. The fourth one is orbit of a particle always lies in a plane. Suppose we see that earth rotating around the sun. If you draw a plane connecting earth and sun then earth and sun always lies in a plane in whole rotation they will maintain a single plane. Okay. The last one is aerial velocity is constant. Here we, we can easily see that there is a line joining earth and sun and if earth start rotating this line joining will swept out certain area and area per unit time is aerial velocity. So if you just calculate the aerial velocity all the time you will find out it is a constant number. Okay. In the upcoming videos I am going to prove all these five properties. Okay. Till then thank you. See you.